The four-step method to high-performance trading and the seven-step daily routine for high-performance traders are both free downloads. The four-step method for high-performance trading is about de developing the mindset and the routines to increase your competence and your ability to execute your trading edge in a live trading environment. Constant progress. Seven-step daily routine for high-performance traders is an audio program download designed to help traders bulletproof their day-to-day -day habits, discipline, and develop a winning mindset. Again, the link is in the description box below. They're free downloads. Let's get started. Just reminding traders if they're new to this channel or if this is the first time you've seen this video, if you go to this playlist, everything you need is in this playlist as it is titled. We go over the templates, the timings, the levels, the behavior of price. This will help to bulletproof your understanding of the best trade setups in the playbook. Again, these are free videos on the YouTube channel to support and enhance the skills and the development of your trading prowess within the playbook itself. Everything you need is in this playlist. Good day traders, Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Today we are going to be going over the weekly templates. I'm going to explain in as simple as possible the importance of the opening range and initial balance. Uh, that will allow traders to develop an understanding of what type of template they're trading in. Three day breakout traders in the markets whether we have signal days that are setting up for potential reversal trades with first red day, first green day trades. Again, several traders are confusing a down day as a first red day or an up day as a first green day. The powerful signal day of the inside day, that is a narrow range day, a coiled market. If you understand the opening range and the initial balance, the next most important thing to understand about templates is that we have a new year, a new month, a new week starting. And as a result of that, we now have a new month, new timing cycle, week one, week two, week three, week four. Opening range, initial balance, parabolic opportunities this week, first Friday, non-farm payrolls Friday. So the economic calendar will impact these templates each week in the month itself. On Free Cash Friday, I am looking for the best template over the week with a well-engineered chart on the day itself for either a parabolic trend trade or a parabolic reversal trade opportunity. Now you can go and look through your daily charts, but the new month, a new month is typically when we'll see a directional change or continuation in some cases of a market on a daily time frame. So a new timing cycle, new month, we can see reversals, in either direction, we can see trend continuations, week one, week two, week three, week four, reversal. So if you understand that the templates for each week will be different on one specific instrument, and you're looking for the same setup every Friday or every Wednesday or every Tuesday on your favorite instrument, you could be in a market that is a, has a directional bias as a result of the new monthly cycle, and you're looking for that parabolic opportunity in a market that is not giving you that as opposed to just looking for the best parabolic instrument set up on the day itself. Day one, day two, day three. The last day we did a short video on understanding what a well-engineered chart is for a parabolic trade. A parabolic trade is not just a market that grinds in one direction to give you 15 or 20 pips. It is a market that should explode in a direction for 50, 75, maybe 100 pips for easy free cash. So number one, we want a well-engineered weekly template that's going to offer signal days for three days of breakout traders in the markets, whether it's a three-day setup, opening range initial balance for a parabolic trend trade or reversal trade, or whether or not we have a signal day, first green, first green day, first red day, or an inside day, which can offer an explosive coil for a parabolic move. As we saw in the pound this week uh, in London the following day, and then a slow fade collapse heading into our non-farm payrolls Friday. But we'll look at the template because that market was inside of the opening range. So I want to just highlight these two terms right here. If you understand these two things, the other 
signal days, the templates, and the well-engineered chart on a day three will make complete sense. Now, this is what I have put together for myself. These are pieces of, of multiple different types of things I've learned over the years, but I've put it into a tradable Monday to Friday package myself. Now the weekly, monthly levels are important because that triggers other time frame traders into the markets. We're looking at the NASDAQ. If you're not sure which market I'm looking at, look in the left corner up top here. It tells you the instrument and the time frame that we're on. We're on the NASDAQ right now. I'll walk through five or six instruments. Just back this up. Monday is our opening range. In this particular case, we had a shortened week. So this was Tuesday because of New Year's Day. Tuesday broke through the previous week's low. And at the close of Tuesday, that is our opening range. Now we're talking about trade opportunities on Free Cash Friday. Uh, this, is, this is how you can use hindsight to understand the opportunity on the day, whether it is a trend trade or a reversal trade template on the day three. And is it a well-engineered chart? That's our opening range. Our initial balance trades lower. We have Day one breakout traders in the markets. That's an opening range breakout. Yes, we have weekly levels triggered. We have shorts already in the market, but in our opening range, we have day one shorts. Day two shorts after Thursday. Wednesday resets. Uh, an excellent question from a trader was, uh, what do you do in a shortened week? Well, the shortened week is still the same thing. We have opening range, we have signal days, and heading into the close of our week, we still have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, day one, day two, day three. Day one breakout traders, day two breakout traders, day three breakout traders triggered on our non-farm payrolls Friday, heading into our U.S. session. Now, it's day three, session three. Let me repeat, this is what I'm looking for on day three. It's the end of the week and the last session to be traded. Once you understand what that means, the closing range will have more importance to you. So if you're missing trades, whether they're reversal or trend trades, what week are we in? What is the template that we have set up for the week? And what type of template do I have on the day within that template for a well-engineered parabolic reversal or parabolic trend trade. So we have three days of breakout traders in the market. What does our chart look like on the day? Asia sets our opening range. That is our high low. London trades lower and puts a lower low in place. That is our initial balance. Before the US window starts, we make higher highs on the inside. Now I need traders to understand when when you're when I'm saying on the inside the market is going lower that's the outside it's it's in a downtrend when it starts to reverse and makes higher highs on the inside that is a dump and pump setup the whole day is a dump one level two levels and a third level blow off on non-farm payrolls remember it's friday it's not Tuesday, it's not Thursday. I am looking for either a parabolic trend trade or a parabolic reversal trade to close out the week. The market engulfs and reverses at the end of the first hour, 30 to 45 minutes. We have our engulfment down low. We have another engulfment heading into our second hour. We can put our universal EMA on this chart. Doesn't matter. It's the template. Parabolic reversal heading into our New York Open and a third hour news catalyst blow off to complete the move. If I take the parabolic move down and project that distance up top, that gives me a mirror image range expansion opportunity as a profit target level on the upside. Just simple, very simple, nothing complicated. Three days of breakout traders in the market. On the day itself, a well-engineered dump and pump template with a range expansion as a profit target opportunity. New York Open, if traders were out prior to the major red news, it would have to be a first bar trade which we got, which needs to give traders asymmetrical risk reward in terms of 
risking our profit target. Now, if you don't understand the news catalyst opportunity, you should not be trading it. You should not be trading news unless you have an understanding of a larger time frame setup. Now, a news catalyst momentum opportunity is exactly that. If there is momentum and a larger time frame setup behind that move, this market should explode. It has a fundamental catalyst behind it. Several times I'll hear people say, oh, it looks risky. It's this, it's that. If you don't understand what the opportunity or the setups are, you should not be trading the news. This is a larger time frame template built over the course of the week heading into our closing range of the week. It is a dump and pump template on the day itself and a well-engineered reversal template for a dump and pump setup on Free Cash Friday. Now we're looking at gold and the same process applies. Tuesday was our opening range. On Wednesday, we broke a weekly low. So now we have triggered other time frame, longer time frame traders into the market. That forms our initial balance, a lower high and a lower low. Thursday was an inside day. Now an inside day is an opportunity in the playbook for either the false break reversal or a trend trade low hanging fruit opportunity. Now the big thing to realize here is that with major red news non-farm payrolls on the calendar, there's nothing to do but wait until after news. I'm not going to talk about news trading uh, in depth or anything. I want traders to focus on the larger template, opening range, initial balance. Are they working the high or are they working the low? The high of the year, the high of the month, the high of the week is up here. The low of the year, the low of the week, the low of the month is down here. We have an inside day. What type of template do we have on the day heading into our free cash Friday, day three? The market makes our initial high low in the opening range in Asia, continues to go lower in our London session. That is our initial balance on the day. Non-farm payrolls blows off and reverses 40 Five minutes into the first hour, 15 minutes after the non-farm payrolls release. The market then reverses and beginning of our second hour continues that reversal back to the high of the day before pulling back, again higher highs prior to our major red news at the beginning of the third hour, higher high for the dump and pump catalyst. Now we had major red news at 10 a.m. and as I mentioned before, uh, if there is an opportunity, it needs to coincide with the larger time frame setup. We have first bounce, first bar. When we have a market that is potentially going to complete a move on a news catalyst or reverse of three levels of rise or three levels of fall, the trap volume first bar trade setup is the one I will always go to. What that means is this, as we just saw in the NASDAQ, is that I'd already be in this trade. This was already a long trade setup, but in order to avoid wicks, large wicks, a lot of risk, putting any significant capital into the market, I will wait for the first bar opportunity. Now we're looking at a projected a, a range expansion, a mirror image range expansion, high low from our blow off on our third level from non-farm payrolls. If I take that distance, just roughly take that distance and project that onto the other side of the range, that can give me an area of where this market can potentially fail at. We see that market do a second tap to the high. Fantastic first bar reversal trade. Now let's come back and look at the template again. We had a day one, day two, day three is an inside day. False break reversal on non-farm payrolls. Where is the money? It's at the high of the inside day. This market moved up into the initial balance from, from our day two for stopping out traders who were short from, from the Tuesday, sorry, Wednesday's trade. Again, coming into our closing range of the week, day one, day two, day three, essentially our high and low, a failed breakout reversal of the inside day trade signal on Free Cash Friday. Now I want you to walk through charts and get the process down. We're looking at the Euro. Day one, our opening range sets the initial high low for the week. 
and we took out weekly levels in that process. Our initial balance on uh, Wednesday, day two, in this particular case with our shortened week, breaks the low of our opening range. We have an opening range breakout. It makes a lower high and a lower low. Thursday trades higher on the inside. Remember, that is the inside. The, the market is moving lower. It makes a higher high on the inside. Now, I've had um, traders ask me about breaks, breaks of structure on these little one-minute charts and everything. When we break a daily level, you'll notice I have zero levels on here because I want you to understand the templates. When a daily level is broken, that is the break in structure. Anything else is inside. And when you're inside dealing with little levels and little smaller time frames, you're dealing with trade setups that are driven by smaller time frames. I'm looking for the parabolic opportunities at the high and low of the week, high and low of the day, a three session setup. I'm not worried about little movements on the inside when I have a larger template setting up. So we have our opening range, we have a day one breakout, it's an opening range breakout, a reversal with a higher high on the inside. Higher high on the inside is a dump and pump template. Now initially at first glance, I thought that was an inside bar and as I mentioned to one trader, that was my mistake. But it has the semblances of a, an inside day because it is inside of our opening range and initial balance. We made a higher high before dumping down. What type of template do we have on the day itself? Opening range initial balance. The market gives us our opening range in Asia. Continues to trade lower in London. That forms our initial balance, a lower low. Opening range initial balance puts in our low of the day before our non-farm payrolls hits the low of the week and reverses. Level one, level two, level three. Asia, London, New York reverses heading into our second hour. We are already inside of a parabolic coil on the reversal after the first hour has closed. New York Open continues to auction higher. Our third hour major red news acts as a catalyst completing the move. Now I had several traders ask me about the British pound and if you go back and look, you will see that the British pound actually traded on the news into the high of the week. And traders took that as a first bar opportunity. And if we go back and look at the euro here, we're, we're quite a ways away from the high of the week. We've traded back up into shorts from uh, Tuesday's opening range. But if you go and look at the pound, which we will in a second, uh, there was no room for that market to go. Now, traders, the same thing applies in this particular case. If you're taking the euro as opposed to gold, which has more volatility, so traders, unless they were already in this coil holding for that completion of that move, okay, on a dump and pump reversal, this would not have been a viable first bar trade. Now, let's take a look on a shorter time frame. The difference with a more volatile instrument, we're, we're taking a trade on first bar, if you weren't already in this trade, and you're getting filled roughly in the area of uh, 75 in the market peaked out up around 98 so 23 24 pips as opposed to 50 to 75 on gold same setup different markets the same thesis an explosive momentum catalyst opportunity on free cash friday reversal dump and pump template and we're just looking at the pound you can see the opening range we were already up at the opening range heading into our news catalyst at 10 a.m. We'll zoom in on this opening range, initial balance. Uh, we had a wick on this particular chart, but on several charts there was no wick, so I classified this as an inside day, which gave traders a parabolic trade in London on Thursday that broke down again a higher high on the inside. We've broken a daily high on the inside before dumping down in the dump and pump template on our non-farm payrolls Friday. So I'll encourage you to understand the importance of the weekly templates over the course of a month, week one, week two, week three, and week four, and the importance of understanding the opening range and initial balance on the week and on the day itself for a well-engineered template for a parabolic trade setup. Understand what a three-day setup is. Three days of breakout traders in the markets. First red day, first green day the inside day. A down day is not necessarily first red day. An up day is not first green day. 
Understand the difference. Walk through your templates. The inside day, a very, very powerful signal day, especially on gold, as I've just gone through that in the latest, most recent video. Very powerful signal day for parabolic trades, not just trying to catch a move and get into the market, but for a parabolic explosive trade. Look at the most recent video on a well-engineered chart, asymmetrical risk reward five, maybe 10 times your return on risk or a parabolic explosion where there's virtually zero heat, zero stress on your trade itself. Done and dusted, locked in, getting off the screen, getting on with your day. Scalable, repeatable, parabolic setups. Understand what that means and the opportunities that they can give to you for significantly growing a small account. Have a great weekend, traders. Best year ahead to come. 1% better every single day. Have a great weekend and may the markets go with you.